What's up, YouTube? Ed the Kid 51 here, bringing you a uh, update on what's going on with me. It's been a long time. Um, it's been quite some time. I don't remember the last time I did a video, but uh, I've been on the move with a lot of things, so I just uh, haven't really remembered to pick up the camera, or really just uh, just wasn't really in my mind. A lot of things going on, doing a lot of different things. Working on a lot of different projects. Um, so that's basically it. A um, couple of quick updates. Um, one being, I'm uh, I'm gonna be a new dad. My wife's pregnant. Well, not a new dad. I'm gonna be a dad again. Um, my wife's pregnant. Um, so that's pretty exciting. We're pretty excited. We're looking forward to it. Uh, baby's due uh, approximately March 8th. That's the due date of. Uh, 2014 so uh, it'd be pretty cool um, I don't know if you guys noticed by the background uh, we have recently moved so we're no longer in Staten Island we are uh, in the Bronx uh, where we are both originally from and uh, studio is here in the Bronx back in uh, back in the Bronx back in our old neighborhood um, just worked out better for us especially now that she's pregnant um, it's just a lot easier as far as commuting and stuff stuff like that uh, Business is doing good um, <clears throat> Mad uh, mad customs excuse me <clears throat> mad customs airbrushing is doing great um, Got a few different projects going on. I got a few different projects lined up uh, Just working my ass off um, setting up booths at shows and handing out business cards and just promoting the shit out of my self and my company same old shit on my part other than just really working my ass off to get things going um, and uh, really busting my ass to get this uh, my name out there and people to recognize me and my work and my skill and my talent and work on my skill and my talent and you know I'm, I'm, I'm up every day super early working I go to bed super late every day working um, just really, really honing in on, on my skill, doing the best I can with what I have. So, uh, with that said, let me show you what I'm working on now. I don't remember if I showed this to you guys the last time, um, in the last video. This is a skate deck, skateboard deck, uh, that I painted, um, it uh it's the base coat is uh a metallic silver mixed with transparent black and a few drops of pearl and then above that is what's called porn star pink sparkle essence porn star pink um, very happy with the way this deck came out. It looks awesome. It's painted on both sides. Uh, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. Uh, got some tape lines there, exposing the silver. Being that I used the uh, the silver with the uh, transparent black and the um, and the pearl with the uh, horn star pink over it, it gave it a nice vivid purple. Uh, the pink out of the bottle, it actually looks purple in the bottle, but once it, I don't know, wait, it's a little dark, hold on, sorry. It actually looks purple in the bottle. I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, that better. But. I open this up here. Oh yeah, it still looks purple there. But when you spray it, when you actually spray it, it uh, it's a very bright, very vivid pink. It's actually a very awesome, awesome color. Not to mention the name is cool. But uh, there you go. This deck, this skate deck is uh. It's a trophy. It's a best in show trophy. I hope you guys can see me. It's a best in show trophy for a car show. 
out in uh, Cle Cleveland. I think it's Cleveland, Ohio. It's Ohio. Uh, I have the actual address written down, but uh, the gentleman um, got in contact with me via Facebook. Uh, wanted me, commissioned me to do a trophy for this car show that him and his wife are putting together. Um, him and his wife, uh, they have a nine month old daughter who was born with uh, half a heart. You guys can see my face. Who was born with half a heart. And uh, they got together um, a few organizations. Um, to throw this car show to uh, to benefit a uh, it's a benefit car show to raise money um, for people uh, with, where their children have this disease. It's kind of hard to say, but basically, the children that are born with half a, half a heart. So anyway, they they got together. They made this this uh, they're raising money, throwing this annual car show. This is the first annual. Um, they're doing this car show to raise money for. Uh, this cause um, to help with medical bills on other with other parents um, or other children that have this disease uh, so the gentleman um, his name's Philip uh, got in contact with several different artists on Facebook um, commissioning a few of us to paint uh, trophies some are airbrush artists some are pinstripers um, some are sculptors so there's a lot of different people donating to this cause there's a lot of people who are commissioned to do a lot of things for this particular cause um, which is pretty dope it's pretty cool you know me being a father and one on the way it's uh, it holds true and dear to my heart um, so basically uh, the idea with this they gave me free reign of uh, free reign artistic freedom with this so I wanted to paint the skateboard deck for a long time so I figured this would be the perfect one to do yeah it's a car show but it's for kids I really wanted to make it fun um, so I, you know yeah the name of the color is porn star pink but the color itself is a nice playful vivid bright color um, so just really throwing in, um, throwing in the color, the 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 tape lines with the silver down there, um, you know. And then I took their their logo design and I gave it my own touch. Um, I can show you theirs, but the uh, the band aid they had on theirs, I kind of just made it. I gave it my own little flair, made it a little a little more realistic. I gave it. What I like to call this is the flyer. flyer for the show. Um, there goes the heart and the band aid. Band aid. The broken heart. I kind of just gave it a little more. I just gave it a little more. Car not cartoonish. I just gave it a little more realism. Um, more tattoo flair. Just uh, something that's really going to catch the eye. Um, you know the whole cause of this is is to really get people to um, not only come to the car show and have fun but to donate to this cause uh, your donation would be I'm assuming whatever it is that you would pay to get into the show so by doing a cool kick-ass best in show trophy which is what this is I was commissioned to do the best in show trophy um, uh, it'll draw people to want to come back more because come back in the following years to come um, to donate and, and win more kick-ass trophies so um, I gave it wings you know to let the children soar, let the children fly, let the children um, you know give them hope, give them praise to uh, overcome this disease um, the car that's here is actually the owner's car um, I thought it was cool that being that it's the first annual uh, show um, and this is you know it, it, his daughter's got a disease and him and his wife are the ones that decided to actually put this show together to raise money for other families who have their children have this disease 
thought it was cool to to honor them with their their uh their custom 53 ford on the skate deck um so i working on the 53 ford um still got more to do right now it's just shadowed uh i still got more detail to do within the window and the back there um and a little more detail to do on the tailpipe uh, the lake pipe here and the rear wheel um i had to come in with a lot of highlights i still gotta do the grill um and there's a if you look at the car there there's scallops uh, blue scallops so we add those blue scallops in there um a little chrome effect on the hubcaps with the red painted rims um so that's that i still got a little more highlighting to do on the heart but for now i you know I, I kind of got into this thing where I like to jump around because if I stay too busy in one piece for too long, I get bored or I get frustrated or things just don't come out or I find I'm I'm working too working that area too much. So I'll do something, I like it, I'll move to something else, I like it, and then I'll look at this, you know, back and forth as I'm walking through my studio or working on another project or something, and then you know what this would look cool if I added this. I, I added this back things back and forth. Um, I got the lighting in the background there. I'm gonna come back with a really bright, bright uh, mixture of white that I a little custom mixture that I made for myself. Of uh, it's kind of like a lemon yellow, if you would, uh, to brighten up the very edge of the heart and the very edge of the car. Um, I still got some highlighting to do over here. This here again, like what I jump around. This was an afterthought. So I did the wings. And then I thought, oh, it would be cool since you got the light coming here. You're going to have some straggled, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, just like feathers or some, some feathers that are sticking out that the light is really catching. Um, so I did a light purple there. And the purple will be the shade. And then I'm going to come back in with that white. And uh, maybe a drop of, of a very light, light purple. To give it a nice, you know, effect as if the light was hitting it. I'll do a couple of there and the light's hitting these. Um... You can kind of see I started it up here. A little more feathers, um, straggled feathers that the light's hitting. Um, you got the secondary lighting on the wings there, which are pretty dope. Um, you know, it gives the effect of the, the light hitting the very edge of the wing, and then the dark in the background there in purple. Um, just trying to really play with my colors, like my shading. This isn't jet black. This is a, a purple mixed with transparent black it just it, it uh i find that the color black um it it muddies up your work so if you uh, to me anyway um if you instead of doing straight black if you depending on your depending on the colors that you're working with so let's say like most of the stuff here is got a is in the purple family purples and reds and and uh pinks and they're all kind of within the same family so if you take your black or if you take just straight purple, uh, I used uh, I used it's a detail violet. Um, here's my actual mixture here, sitting in there. It looks black, but it's actually it's actually purple. It's actually purple. Let's see, it's got a little purple. Eh, it looks black on the camera, but it's got a purple effect to it. Um, so like if you take your let's say purple for this instance I took purple and I a couple of drops of purple and then maybe like one two drops of uh, transparent black and uh, you mix mix it with your reducer spray it see what you get if you need the darker maybe a drop maybe two drops of black um, and you'll be good and then you can it won't muddy up your work like uh, like in the 53 here. This isn't straight black shading. This is the black mixed with the purple. And I think it just makes it, it gives it a little more richness. Um, you could do the same thing with blue. Because um, if uh, most blacks, most blacks aren't made, uh, are made either uh, a blue black or a purple black. Um, sometimes you have a brownish black, but that's more for illustration purposes. Um, so, depending on what I was doing, so if this skate deck was blue, or in the blue fa family, uh, I would take my, I would take blue and darken it up with my transparent black. 
and use that for my shading and it'll just give it a nice richness it'll play better and it won't muddy up your work um, that's just from me playing around a lot uh, I, I've, I've uh, that's just something I've grown to do for myself um, you know not, not everybody has to do it I just find it works better that way um, so yeah this is one of the things that I got going on right now uh, here's another I've showed this to you guys a while back um, hold on uh, but it's, I'm actually illustrating it now it's uh, it's on watercolor paper um, so you got a 30 sedan there and you got a uh, uh, 40 something Chevy I don't know what year um, so this is the illustration some more penciled in stuff there in the background uh, I haven't gotten very far on this but uh, that's one of the things I work on this I got a deadline uh, this has to be done and shipped by Monday or Tuesday of next week so I gotta work on this uh, continuously non-stop I gotta finish up the car I had to put some lettering on there and uh, sign it and then on the flip side of it I'm going to put my company logo um, on there and uh, and I got to clear it so and then it's going to be shipped Monday or Tuesday because it's going out to Ohio um, so here's a here's an example where the sedan is blue and the shading is done uh, with the same blue just darkened with um, actually not even black I didn't darken this with black I darkened it the same blue with uh, several drops of that detail violet and dark made myself a really dark purple and that's what I used to do the shading on this so you can play with it a lot um, just, you know you play with your colors you know depending on what particular look you're going for or what you're trying to get just kind of play with it. Um, I've been doing it a little, I've been playing with this stuff a lot. Um, day in and day out, every single day, hour, for hours every day. Um, so, you know, it's a, it's a business, it's my company. So if anybody out there on YouTube land is looking to get something airbrushed, whether it's a car part, a motorcycle helmet, a gas tank, motorcycle gas tank, um, motorcycle tins, um, T-shirts, hats, uh, skate decks, anything, canvas, illustration. Give me a shout. Shoot me a private uh, private message on here on YouTube, and I'll get back to you. We can come up with a concept or work on something, work out prices and stuff. Um, so that's that. Oh, I got. Speaking of hats, here's some hats that I've done. Uh, I did for a customer. Ah, sorry, I, it's on my tablet. Hopefully, the camera picks it up. Um, here, if I lay this down. Hold on, if I move my tape. Hold on, sorry guys, sorry. So yeah, this is a group of hats that I did for a customer. If I move this light over. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you. Um, the customer is actually another airbrush artist, so it was pretty cool. Uh, I think I had mentioned this in my last video, but these are the hats done. So you got some smoke effect there, or some yeah, smoke effect, or flames. There was a skull with some airbrushes there. Um, skull with some cross pistons. Uh, this buddy's logo. Here's a shot that was a gift for a friend of his. Oh. Hold on. There you go. So he's into Mustangs. So he drives a Mustang. So we want our Mustang logo. Here go some hats that I've done. Um, I also did a hat. Oh, hold on. Let me turn this back on. I also did a hat for uh, my buddy Gerald over at GTS Designs. Here's a hat that I did for uh, for Gerald over at GTS Designs. Uh, Let's see if the camera will focus. There we go. It says Chicken Boy Racing. Um, Chicken Boy, I believe, was uh, his brother's nickname. And uh, he wanted to do a hat for him. 
Um, so there it goes. Uh, so that was for GTS Designs. So yeah, I got a lot of things going on. I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone's doing great. Um, sorry that it's been so long. Sorry that the video was ongoing. Sorry for the shaky cam and the, uh, you know, the, me not being super, super prepared. Um, well, I will be definitely doing another video once this is done, complete and cleared, so you guys can see the finished product on this. But, um, once again, I just want to thank everybody for all their super great comments, everybody's encouragement, um, and uh, rock on, keep painting, and uh, I'll talk to everybody soon. Peace.